everybody. So thanks for joining Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach SIG meeting. Today is August the 8th. So on the agenda, we have a brief discussion about GSOC, about um, DevOps world, board and officer election, and strengthening the community efforts update. Anything else that we need to add? Nope, but I wanted to say, like, since Mark is here, it may be good for him to clarify some of the expectations he has for the the last item, the strengthening community efforts. Okay. Um, sure. I may have some questions to ask later. Okay, that sounds good. So, um, all right, for GSOC, we had our uh, office hour earlier today. Um, so we are scheduling for August 29th as our final Jenkins online meetup presentation. And that will be, I think it's um, it's our usual office hour. I just know that it's 6 a.m. my time. <laughs> uh, so we are also planning a GSOC contributor blog post. Um, actually, that will be five blog posts from each project, from each for each project, from each project contributors. Um, we'd like to know where what they've learned, what's their status, and so on. Um, and then one project will be extended, and uh, that will get a date on that with uh, Alex later on. Yeah, once so, and, yes, once it's confirmed. Um, end of the standard coding program is September 22nd. Okay. Any questions there before we move on? Um, nope. Okay. And then the Jenkins online, uh, sorry, DevOps World, um, the virtual event is scheduled for September 17th. And um, on here, I have the UI UX evolution presentation that will be delivered by Tim and Jan. Uh, board and officer update as our usual uh, with all of our officers and our board members will be providing their update. Um, and then Mark, I have here platform evolution that mm -hmm. will be, I know that you will be driving that. Is Basil going to join you in, in I'm, that? I haven't asked him yet, but I hope to ask him. He's he's a, a really good candidate to talk about that one because spring security six upgrade is the big thing. <laughs> Um, so yeah, the question mark there is correct. I've got to talk to Basel about it and see if he's available, if he's willing. He certainly is, I think he'll be part of the board and officer update, but I've got to see if he's okay with that. Okay. All righty. Um, anything else for this, for DevOps world? Yeah, I think no. let's keep going. Just general. Okay. So I've got the board and officer election nomination of candidate is taking place at the moment. I've listed here how folks can uh, nominate people. And then the voter registrations begin September 16 and ends on October 31st. And I also uh, linked here on how to register as well. Um, yeah, now we haven't opened voter registration yet. So, so your the screen you have on screen right now is for voter registration for 2023. We'll mm -hmm. create a new one of these for 2024 and register people at that time. Okay. So, yeah. So, and and we truly won't open voter registration until the 16th of September. We like last year we ran concurrent registration and nomination. And that at the end of the nomination period, we had no reason to do the election because we only had exactly the number of candidates uh, we needed. This year, we've already got far more than the number of candidates needed. So we will have a voter registration period and an election. Um, so the, but the voter registration will be pretty much similar. Uh, it will. To it, what will we use, did. it will use, it will use the same exact technique. It will just be it will just be that it won't it won't begin until September 16. Okay. 
Great. Thanks, Mark. Mm -hmm. um, anything else here? We're good? Okay. Um, so strengthening community effort. So Chris has been working on adding the thank you notes to um, you know, things like on here. Right here. Okay, so, and then Chris, I'll let you drive the rest of the conversation here and see if you have questions for Mark. So, uh, yeah, I do. Can we copy paste from the last meeting what we have on the agenda? For yeah. Except I think it was here. Right here, right here. So, mm -hmm. uh, I think for the first item would be uh, to um, about a plugins page. Say, um, let's copy paste first. And I, I assume, Melissa, you're okay if I start dabbling and editing while you're editing. You don't mind if, if yeah. concurrent editing happens. Please do. Great. Okay. Cool. Okay. So, um, So I'm I'm going down the order. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I'm going down the list in terms of what is important. So we're talking about a plugins page. Um, where should we have the um, the card? For the oh, so so my thought was the root level page and only the root level page. So okay. uh, Alyssa, if you'll open in a new tab, plugins.jenkins.io. This was at least my thought was. And actually, it's on your screen. You can you can even click it, right? Because there, it's on the top bar. So scroll up to the very top, and of this page, and you'll see the word plugins. Click that. So my thought was on this page, Chris, but only on this page. Okay, so I'll have to think about like the coloring then, because I don't think the coloring for the contributor spotlight will work for this one. This is all uh, right. Okay. Yeah, so I may use a white color for the background instead of like a like a beige color. Okay, so jump back. That's that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. So and and I am the I am precisely the wrong person to ask about coloring, in mm -hmm. part because I don't have great color resolution, and in part because my sense of style is atrocious. <laughs> so so those two things compete together to make it so that I'm the wrong person to ask about design questions. Okay. So, and on top of like, the only thing, the, there's one thing I want to change here too. So, because of the month, it's right now it's like uh, it's shortened into three character long for mm -hmm. every one of the months. So, I will make it into a full letter, a uh, full word. So, for July, it will be J U L Y later. I'll open a P, uh, PR for it next week for, uh, so to follow up on the contributor spotlight. And uh, maybe can we go back to the doc? For this meeting. So next would be um, the read page of um, Jenkins.io. Yeah, so where should I put it? It's like before the sponsors or after the sponsors? So I like the pattern that Tamarin uses of putting it so uh, at the very bottom. So when you get there, you see right, I would put it right above the 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 footer. Or maybe we even make it, let's see, let me ask a different question, Chris. What if it were part of the footer in the blue region? Okay. Would that would that make any sense or no, that's nonsense? Am I suggesting something crazy? It could happen, but it depends. Like, uh, do you think uh, Gavin's going to have a strong opinion about it? Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure Gavin will. If if Gavin yeah. Gavin has a strong opinion always, and he'll tell us his opinion. I don't know what it would be, what his opinion will be, but certainly yeah. if if he'll if he had or uh, Jan Farachik is the other one, and Tim Jacome, uh, okay. they've they've all done recent work to get, for instance, dark theme here that that okay. Alyssa is showing. So I think it might be better not to put it in the footer. Okay. So in the footer, is it going to show on every page with the footer? Correct. That's right. And and that that would certainly make it very, very widespread, possibly more widespread than we want it to be. Yeah. 
true. Okay. So I'll put it on the first page at the bottom. The for bottom. for me it for me it's it's okay. It fits well at the bottom above the footer because the thing that Alyssa has highlighted right now is our thanks section for many different contributors. And as we look as as we scroll up a little, you'll see we're thanking the major whoops no no i take it back this is our whole thing so we've got our major contributors at the top bar right cdf cloudbees aws github jfrog we need to add azure there we've we've and we've got a project to do that separately to get a a, a better structure to our thank you to our sponsors okay. but then right below that thank an individual okay i could do that i could add that there. So just just below um, the thank you uh, sponsors section. Great. Yeah, okay. I agree. I, yeah, I think this is too complex and it's too low. I, I usually do not go down this to the, the bottom of this page. Um, but yeah, I think it'll be well, good and, here. And, and that's, a, that's a real risk for anything we put below the fold, right? Anything we put that requires scrolling, a, a large fraction of users will simply never see it. Yeah, but yeah. for me, the content, the thanks is not more important than the other things that preceded on this page. That, that was my worry. Putting it any, any higher risks misprioritizing for the reader. Mm -hmm. Yeah, agreed. Very cool. So can we go back to the dog again? Mm -hmm. Next one will be downloads page. So... Um... Yeah, so I the way you go there. No, the way you get to this one is on the top right hand corner is the word yeah. download. Uh, it should be this page, but where should I put it? Should I put it same in the bottom? Before? For me, I would I would again put it above the footer, but in the in, on the bottom here, particularly because deploying in public cloud is more likely to get to get reader to be needed by readers than the thank you segment, the thank you card. Okay, okay, sounds good. Yeah, I would do that. So next, I, next item on the list should be the last one too, I think. Success stories. Success stories. Like I think. Um, mm. second. second, right, second from the left. There we go. So should I put it same location at the like at the home page at the bottom? I, I would, and now on this one, uh, Alyssa, could you choose, pick the read user stories button that's up at the top center of the page? Okay. And okay, so this, this page, if you scroll down, oh, this is a very, very long, long page. Okay, so there's, forget it. This, putting at the bottom of this page does, mm -hmm. is unlikely to get any attention given the size of the page. Yeah. So pick any one of these and let's look at the individual story. Okay, so in this one, should would it be reasonable? These are low frequency, low, low readership pages. Mm -hmm. But if if we can fit it there, I don't have any objections to it being there as a thanks. Uh, in terms of getting it in front of the most people, this is probably the lowest readership of any of the pages we've seen so far. Okay. We could do that if there's a, like a community consensus, we can do it that way. So who who is maintaining the success stories right now? Uh, nobody. It's it's got the the poll requests are merged by me or Bruno Verachten. So and active maintenance of the JavaScript on the site, nobody. Can I do that? Can I take on this task? Because I didn't. I, I was wondering who was responsible for it, but I didn't know who it was. I didn't, I, do much I didn't know anything about it. Yeah, absolutely. If you are if you are interested in it, you are welcome to. The yeah. the the site is low traffic, so in terms of benefit to our users, there's much more benefit in other things. But but the site is certainly there. Okay, so um. Would that be possible to add me to uh, add me as a maintainer of the, the repo? If that's sure, the... hang on just a minute. Stories.jenkins. Now I've got to find this the the site. I think it is in Jenkins Infra. 
this would be an interesting exercise for me to go find it. Yeah, true. Stories. Okay, so repository search. Stories. Yes, stories. A static site for Jenkins is the way. Okay, so here we go. Let's see, what's the technique? If I remember it, collaborators and teams, it wants to authenticate with me. Okay, it authenticates. I am now authenticated. All right, so Jenkins Core has, has it, and I can certainly add you. So you're okay, Chris, if I add you? Yeah, if you're okay with it. But that Absolutely. Okay. Oops, if I could just type correctly. Chris Stern. Oh, interesting. Maybe you're not a member of... Oh, oh, I need to click the add people button. Click the right button. Okay. There we are. Good. Okay, Chris Stern. And I'm going to add you as... Maintain... Oh, no, you can. Yeah. So so this should give you everything you need except the ability to delete the repository. And it says no destructive actions like managing security. You're OK with that. It'll give you ability to read, triage, write and do do a little bit more. Yeah. OK, so I can I can maintain it, too, because I think there's some changes I want to make to it to make it look more, a little bit more polished. OK, since no one's doing it. Yeah, great. Yeah, the last the last commit was oh, we've got a submission from Jim Klimov. Oh, okay. That came in just a week ago. Obviously, I'm not subscribed enough to this. I need to boost my watching. Huh, interesting. Um, okay. No, this, this is different than a... that one. Oh, okay. This is this is Jenkins is the way for network to network up UPS tools as of mid 2024. So it's, oh, this, you're right. This is an update to his existing one network for, for, for that one. So he's, he's submitted a refinement. Okay. Yep. Okay. So now I know what to do. So I will, I will do them in order of priority. Great. Yep. Okay. Thanks, Chris. Welcome. So okay. I think that, yeah, I don't have further questions about that part. Okay. That's to do. All right. Uh, we don't have anything else. We can well, call so, it tonight. So I've got one more, actually. Yeah. So under Strength and Community Efforts Update, I put a new bullet item for uh, Contributor Spotlight. So after, oh, it, actually, I can do my own typing. I don't need to oh, sorry. type for <laughs> me, Alyssa. Yeah, I am. Sorry, I'm I am. Like Perfectly yeah. capable of typing. Just a minute. Let me let me do it so I can describe it. The so contributor spotlight. Right. So we've got um, Daniel. No, no. Is it Daniel? No, Michael. Uh, actually, let's just say it this way: several, several individuals that have agreed to be highlighted. Oh, yay! In the contributor spotlight. And uh, I'll send them to Alyssa. Alyssa has agreed to coordinate them, yeah. uh, coordinate the, getting their, their requests in. But we have at least three or four more, and we're going to continue looking for those so that we've got more people that we can highlight there. And yeah. Kevin, oh, and Kevin, Kevin uh, Martins is expected back, we hope, on the 19th of August. Yay, he's back. Okay. <laughs> we hope. Yeah, it depends on how his surgery went, but I'm hopeful that he'll be back. Yeah. Yeah. But in the meantime, we should be able to keep uh, rolling out stories every two weeks. Right. Good. And that's all that I had. Okay. Thanks, Mark. Um, yeah, I will get my story up by, I'll get the pull request up th by the end of this week. So that'll be up next. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Mark. Thanks. Take care.